Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Candace. Today I'll be doing a detailed review on the Gucci Small Padlock GG Supreme. And I've had this bag for quite some time. It's one of my older bags. It was my second Gucci bag. I only have two at the moment. And this is the one I bought second. I actually bought it at Nordstrom a few years ago. It's still available. Of course, I'll have a link below the insert and everything, but I love this bag. It is one of my bigger bags. I don't typically like big bags, but I'm so glad I didn't get rid of this one because I get a lot of use out of it still. And I just love the shape of it. I love the structure. I love the contrast of the leathers. I love the fact that it has options. It is very wearable. It has brown leather, it has black leather, and then it has their canvas and monogram. I absolutely love this. Love the gold hardware. So here's the bag up close. Keep in mind, I bought this during a time where I didn't really pacify my bags. I'm trying to talk over a guy, I couldn't grasp that side, but it's not working. Much, much later. So, I love this bag. It does come with a long strap, I just have it in here. I'll show it to you shortly, but it has a nice top handle here. As I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by the lawnmower. This was purchased during a time where I didn't baby my bag. So I have quite a few scratches on the hardware, but course you can always do repairs i do plan on getting this repaired but eventually it has the squeeze opening this reminds me of the louis vuitton pochette matisse it has that same this is called the s lock i'm not sure if that's what gucci calls it as well but it has the same open where you squeeze it here and then it pops open all right so i'll go ahead and open it for you guys I have my dust bag here by the way, this retails for $2,350, $2,350. Here's that interior, have a pop of yellow. I love the yellow against this. I think it's beautiful. Here's the longer strap. This strap is just brown leather. There's no black or anything, no canvas. It's just strictly brown leather and gold hardware. I will show you that. Let me remove this insert. I do have an insert. It is very structured and it has a zipper at the top. I'll link it below for you in case you're interested in checking it out. This is a bag that I do recommend for an insert because it's pretty spacious and things can easily get lost in here if you're not careful. That is also why I recommend an insert because felt is a little bit harder to clean. And if you have an insert and you happen to dump something in, in your bag, you can easily clean this or just buy another one. It's better than reinvesting another two grand in the bag. But the top part is black leather lining. It has an interior zipper against the back here. And then that's pretty much it. And it has the little small slip pocket here. There. It's very small though, so you can't fit too much in there. You can't fit a card holder or anything like that. Maybe a, a small receipt folded up. Actually, that's crazy. It's still the same price. Wow. It was $23.50 then. And I have my care card still in there. I guess that can stay in there because I really don't use that zipper pocket much. But let me go ahead and show you what sits in this baby. Then I'll attach the strap and show you all of that, how you can wear it, etc. So I have my mini pochette of Damier Bean. Remember, it's wide open, so literally you can just toss things in there if you don't have an insert to organize. That takes up a little space. You still have a lot. I have my Louis Vuitton six key ring or six key holder. I have my key fob because, of course, it doesn't fit in my six key. Always talk about that. I have a Gucci face powder. I have a card holder. That's where we are so far. And keep in mind, of course, with the mini pochette, you can put things inside of there, like lip gloss, etc. I have the 11 Pro Max. I can slide that in there, no problem. I can even stand it up if I so wish to do so. I could also lie it flat, but that takes up more space in my opinion. So I stand it up and I don't always keep it in here either. Of course, you can fit some wet ones, hand wipes, or you can do hand sanitizer. You have enough space to do that if you want to do the hand sanitizer. I don't know where my slim pack of gum is, so I have some pure gum. But although it's bulky, it still fits in there. I probably wouldn't put much more in there because again, this is a very stiff material, so it doesn't really stretch. You can't really force it. You have to have enough room to close this bag. So I'm gonna slightly bend my canvas in and then close it. I could have put more because it didn't take much effort to do that, but 
here's where we are here it's pretty heavy with all of that in there just keep in mind also this front little detail at the front are your keys because you can lock this here to where nobody can open it and then safely tuck your keys in there and this says gucci on the outside brown leather still has a very slim back pocket here there's a brown you really can't put anything in there super stiff super flat maybe a receipt or something but keep in mind it has this little scoop right here so whatever you put in there will more than likely stick out unless it's really short like a raffle ticket or something let me show you the strap now it has a little squeezy lock mechanism here I clip it at the top. I believe, of course, that's where you put it. There's nowhere else to put it. The strap is adjustable, by the way. Always pleasant. So here's the strap. So with this bag, you can rock it top handle, crossbody, shoulder style, if you want it. And you can also put in the crook of your arm. It fits there, no problem. Slides down with ease. So after further research, I discovered, I knew that couldn't be accurate. It did go up in price. It's only going up $140 since I purchased it. So now the current price is $24.90. I think that's still a great deal for what you're getting. It's a great price for what it holds and for how structured it is. This bag has superior quality and it has some of the best quality of the bags that I have. Also, measurements in inches. It's 11 inches long. 7.5 inches tall and then 4.5 inches wide here so 11 inches wide 7.5 inches tall and 4.5 inches wide and actually the lining is called microfiber lining so it's similar to felt that's what it feels like to me but it's microfiber so it might be slightly easy to clean i just haven't had the experience of spilling anything in here i can't knock on wood there we go so did I just show? Okay, I thought I showed my boobs, but I didn't. Thank God. What if I had to cut that out? <laughs> as far as the drop of the shoulder strap, it's 22 inches. That's how long it is. You can shorten it, of course, because it has the adjustability. And then the top handle has a three inch drop. The bag also has feet on the bottom, gold feet. So even without those, because it's so structured, it would still sit flat onto its surface. So just because I always do this one in bigger bags, this is my Louis Vuitton Medium or MM Agenda. I'm gonna show you and tell you, I already know the answer, but I'm gonna show you if it fits in here. It does. It takes a little give to get, you know, get it to fit or whatever. So here's how much space you have with that in there. It does take up quite a bit, but for the necessities, as I've always told you, well, I haven't always told you, I told you in another video, but I don't know which one, if it's uploaded or not. This has card slots, so you can get rid of your card holder and not carry that. If you're carrying your agenda in the bag, so that removes some additional space. You can take your keys, your iPhone 11 Pro Max, or whatever phone you have, and you can put some hand wipes in there. You still have room, and you still have room to close this. But... The agenda makes any bag heavy, so just keep that in mind if you want to carry that. It does fit, and it definitely fits if you have the smaller agenda. I love this bag so much. I don't ever see myself getting rid of it. It's beautiful. For the price, you're getting a lot of space, quality, and obviously, flex. Nice. Let me know if you guys own this bag or any other similar bags with the canvas, black, and brown contrast. I have a link to where you can get it down below as well as a link for my insert. I'll link a video here in case you missed it. Talk to you soon. Thank you for watching.